Thank you. The province of Sulu will now present a token of appreciation. What a great day indeed for us to be able to work together on these many different projects. And we have to also greet our Armed Forces of the Philippines, presented here today by General Dolorfino, for the things that they have done to bring about peace and development here in southern Philippines, especially in the island of Sulu. Sulu is significant not only for our country, but I dare say that among the de many different efforts of the United States to provide for its responsibility as the richest and most powerful nation in the world, to help secure peace and development in the whole world, Sulu is one of their most important and successful showcases of success. Here in Holo, American soldiers go about the streets, go to market, go to parties, and the people, the Muslim people, the Christian people, love them as brothers. And this partnership has produced great wonders also for the people of Sulu. Sulu used to be the poorest province in our country. Today, it is not even one of the ten poorest in our country. Congratulations. And I am very glad that aside from the airport, we're inaugurating or commemorating other very important milestones. The water system is an important fruit of the partnership between the U.S. government and the Philippines. And it is also in line with our legacy objective, our 10-point program of providing water in every waterless town. So thank you very much again to the U.S. government for that support. Today also, we uh, distributed, we began, to dis uh, we, we began the program for providing for conditional cash transfers, yung pantawid pamilya, na magbibigay ng allowance sa bawat isa dito sa pinakamahihirap na pamilya ng Sulu, pero ang kondisyon, ang mga anak nyo, papasok sa eskwela, at kayo ay regular na magpapacheck up buong pamilya. And again, this allowance conditioned on the requirement that the children of the family go to school regularly should not be absent more than 15% of the time. Also complies with our, one of our 10-point agenda items and that is education for all. Ngayon, meron na kayong kakayahan, padali yung mga anak ninyo sa eskwelahan. Sana sila ay lahat pumasok sa eskwela. Kahit na yung 6 years old, dapat pumasok na sa grade 1. We also today gave the, ceremonially gave the keys to the houses of our internally displaced persons. Because in the past, Sulu has been a battleground. Today, I hope it is no longer a battleground. It was our obligation to provide housing for the internally displaced persons. Magbakwit mula sa labanan. Ngunit inaasahan natin na sa pamamagitan ng kagitingan ng ating mga sundalo na gumagawa ng mga proyekto at hindi lang labanan, with a partnership between the military and the civilian officials, 
and here in Sulu with a model partnership, not just a national model, but a world model of partnership between the U.S. government, the U.S. forces, and the Filipino people. We look towards the day when we no longer have to build houses for our internally displaced persons because there will be no more battle here in the island of Sulu. Hinahanap natin ang kapayapaan dahil kapayapaan ang panggagalingan ng kaunlaran, ng kumatagalang kaunlaran ng pulo ng Holo at ng probinsya ng Sulu. Yung patikol, ang ganda-ganda ng inyong beach. Ang Master Kenny talked about our beautiful beaches. We have a great white sand beach in patikol. One of the best in the country. When we have peace and order assured, then we will have people visiting here. In the meantime, it is important that we are able to maximize the benefits that the people of Sulu get from your marine resources. We thank the U.S. government for their many projects to provide for the facilities for your curry gene and industry, which is one of the reasons why Sulu graduated from number one, poorest province, to now not no, no longer one of the ten poorest. At itong airport na ito, we are hoping that soon cargo planes will be able to land here and bring your fisheries resources to the rich markets of Metro Manila and other parts of our country. Yan din ang isang important ng gusto nating mangyari. Yung uh, pinag-uusapan nating madadala ang mga produkto ng uh, ng uh, inyong mga mangingisda doon sa maraming taong bumibili at may kayang bilhin. So this is a great day for peace and development of Sulu. It is a great day for all our aspirations for four of the ten of our ten-point program. It is a great day to showcase once again that indeed in parts of the world like Sulu, the U.S. is doing a great job for peace and development, and we thank the U.S. government for that. Maraming salamat at congratulations sa ating lahat.